Okay, so we're looking at power functions, and we're going to start looking at pow solving a power function equation. In this case, we've got y cubed is equal to 64. So in this case, it's already been solved and rearranged. It's all in a nice simplified form for us. So if we want to get y and solve for it, remember, we have to multiply or put both sides to the inverse of the exponent is now. So put both sides to 1 over 3. So 64 to the 1 over 3 as well. Or the cube root. Remember from that intro video, we showed that's the same as writing the cube root of 64. And we can plug that in our calculator and get an answer. Remember this, so the left hand side here becomes y, and this side, 64, the cube root of that is simply 4. But I'm actually now, before we even go to another video, I want to also look at the idea of y cubed equals negative 64. Let's say we just want to add a second question for fun. We like the first one so much. Well, we start off the same way. We take the cube root of both sides, or put both sides to the power of and one third. But when we punch this into our calculator, what we're going to find is that the cube root of negative 64 is negative 4. Now, why do we get the difference? I mean, there's a negative in front, so that seems logical. But the thing to keep in mind is the cube root is what has to be multiplied by itself three times to get our 64 back. So in our case, a negative 4 times a negative, oop, shouldn't be doing x's, a dot. Negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. That's going to equal negative 64 because you can think two of the negatives will cancel. We're still left with one. And really, this just uh, actually shows a general rule. If we're ever taking the root of a number and it's an odd number, so the fifth root, the third root, the seventh root, the 99th root, Whatever number we get will have the same sign as the original number. So in this case, it was originally positive, answer is positive. In this case, it was originally negative, so it stays negative. So just keep that in mind when we're working with the odd root of a number. Thanks.